The Service Request Reports Console provides users with a means to report and export selected service request data. You can select from a variety of search criteria and output methods to format reports to your own specifications. Access the Reports Console by expanding the Applications Navigation Bar on the left side of the screen, then scroll down to Service Request Management, then Request Entry. To access the Reports Console, select the Print button located under the My Request section. The Service Request Reports Console now appears. Here where it says Select Data For, you have two different options. The first one is My Request, which you would use if you want to pull a report just on your own service request. The second is All Request, if you want to pull a report on your entire department. Notice how the display on the right side of the screen changes as I toggle between these two options. Next we have the Show drop-down box, which currently has six different options to choose from. You would choose All if you want to pull the report on all requests except the ones that have a status of Closed or In Cart. Open and Draft Request includes requests with all status values except Completed, Closed, and In Cart. Request Needing Attention includes all requests that are flagged as needing attention but are not in the status of In Cart. Recently closed requests is all requests closed within the last seven days that are not in cart. Requests closed since last login includes all requests that were closed since you last accessed the request entry module, excluding any with the status of in cart. And last but not least, we have closed requests, which includes all requests with the status of completed, rejected, canceled, or closed. In addition to those options, we have two different reports that you can pull from. One report you would use if you just want to display the report on screen or export it into a PDF. The second option you would use if you want to export the report into an Excel document. For this first example, I'm going to go ahead and choose the report for exporting into Excel, then click the Run button. This can take a minute depending on how much data the system needs to filter through. Once it's displayed, the report viewer now has all of the requests that the system has for me. You can browse through the pages directly using the arrows in the top right of the screen. You also have the option to print directly or to go ahead and export the report into that Excel document. Once it's in Excel, you can continue to manipulate the data as you see fit. To exit out of the report, you'll click on the X on the Report Viewer tab, and it will return you back to the Service Request Reports console. The other report option for Web or PDF has the same data, but it will display a little bit differently than the Excel one will. You still have the same option to filter through the different pages using the arrows at the top of the screen. You also have the option to print the report or export the report as a PDF if you want to save it for later. In addition to pulling a report on yourself or your department, you also have the option to run a report on another person. If you want to do that, you go to the Settings tab and choose On Behalf Of. And go ahead and type the name of the person you're looking for in the search bar. Highlight that person's name, then click the Select button. It now displays my coworker's name up at the top of the screen. And if I go into the reporting console, you'll see her name displays here on the right side of the screen as well. Once you're done pulling a report on somebody else, you just want to make sure you go back to settings and click on back to myself to return the system back to its normal state. That's it for running a report. I hope this helps.